Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing another thick thigh workout. Yep, I am bringing you part two of the thick thigh series. For this workout, we are gonna be focusing on the hamstrings as requested by you guys. So we are gonna be really focusing on building, toning and strengthening the hamstrings and really getting that nice, nice little bit of curve. And of course, more importantly, improving our physical and mental health through exercise. You do not need a single bit of equipment for this workout. All you need to do is follow along with me, listen out for the instructions in the voiceover um, and look at the screen to follow along. But to be honest, you don't really need to like crank your neck and look at the screen because I'll be like talking over you in a soothing voice, kind of soothing. I, I, I'll i try to be soothing. Okay, I'm going on now, so. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so that was a lot of pressure to be soothing, but we're just gonna forget about that and get straight into the workout. So we're starting with single leg Romanian deadlifts, a great exercise for the hamstrings and the glutes actually. Are you ready? Let's go. So standing on one leg, we are going to push the hips back as we reach out in front of us and lift up the opposite leg behind us. But what I want you to really focus on while you're doing this is pushing the hips back. So you should feel a nice stretch in the leg on the ground, in the hamstring of that leg. Um, and you should really contract the hamstring and the glutes as you bring the hips back through and forward. So really aiming to push the hips back as though you're sitting down um, rather than lowering the back in front of you. And relax for 10 seconds and we're gonna go on to the other leg. Really important while you're doing this exercise to keep the heel planted and go on the opposite leg. Keep the heel planted and um, try and keep a neutral back position so I don't want you arching your back. And when you bring uh, the body back up, you want to start that force by contracting the hamstrings and the glutes so it's a hip pivot. Uh, you're not kind of moving the upper body, you're working that lower body. This can take a while to perfect. You wanna be slow about it, make sure you're keeping your balance, making sure you're feeling uh, the, the burn in the hamstrings rather than in the back or anywhere else. Um, you can keep a slight bend in the leg that's planted as well as the one going up and relax. Well done. We're going to rest for 10 seconds. Coming down onto your hands and knees, we're going in with hamstring curls. Ready and go. So hands beneath shoulders, knees beneath hips. Raising up one leg, we are going to bring the foot into the boot and stretch it back out. So really being intentional with this mind to muscle connection here, okay? I want you to intentionally contract those hamstrings um, as you bring the foot to the bottom. You can keep your foot cocked, keep your upper body nice and still, isolating the movement in that lower leg. So I want the thigh to stay nice and raised. We're using our glutes for that and we're just moving the lower leg and relax coming down and onto the other leg after 10 seconds rest and go bringing that foot in towards the bottom and back out squeezing the hamstrings intentionally squeezing the glutes keeping nice and still in the upper body I don't want you rocking side to side I want your core embraced I don't want any arch in the lower back you really want to keep that core embraced so that you don't get um, any lower back strain you're doing really well. Now this is an exercise that you can do with a machine or a resistance band, but you can still get a really good workout just doing it with your body weight, okay? Never underestimate the power of body weights. Few more and relax. Then we're going to go on to our back and we are going in with the uh, hip raises. These are great. These are so good. Go. Um, so you want one foot flat on the ground isolating the leg um, as you raise the hips up. Aim to get your hips high enough to have a straight line from your shoulder to your hip to your knee, pushing through the heel, contracting the hamstrings and the glutes. If you feel it more in your glutes than your hamstrings, then just move your foot a little bit further out away from the body um, and that will uh, really target the hamstrings a bit more, pulsing up and back down, controlling the movement. You're doing really well. I love this exercise. It is so, so good for targeting the hamstrings. And relax. We're going to come down on the other leg in five, four, three, 
ready, lying on our backs and go. We're really raising the hips up, aiming to get a straight line from the shoulder through the hip to the knee as we lift the hips all the way up, really feeling that contraction in the hamstrings. So, so good for getting them nice and strong and toned. You're doing really well, guys. Be forceful and intentional with the movement, okay? Don't just do it passively, really get those hips up off the ground, pushing through the heel, core nice and tight, using your hands to keep you steady. Doing really well, guys. And relax for 10 seconds. And we're gonna go back in with the single leg Romanian deadlifts. Ready and go. Really pushing those hips back, don't forget, weight through the heels, pushing the hips back, contracting the hamstrings and the glutes as we bring the hips back through and forward and stand back up, keeping a slight bend in the leg on the ground. It's a leg on the ground that you are working here. You can aim to get a nice, fairly straight line in the body as you um, do the exercise, you know, a nice T position, but don't worry about that. Focus more on pushing the hips back, feeling that stretch in the hamstrings, and relax. 10 seconds rest, and we're gonna come on to the other side. You're doing really well, guys. These exercises are staple, they are key. I do them all the time, and go. You're gonna see great results by doing this regularly. Remember not to rush it, okay? I just lost my balance a little bit there um, because I was rushing, so do not rush this exercise. Uh, be nice and slow and controlled contracting intentionally in the hamstring and the glutes as you come back up, keeping the core nice and tight. I don't want an arch in your lower back. You're doing so, so well. Keeping a slight bend in that leg as we come down, feeling the stretch, but also feeling that burn. You're doing really well. And relax. Then we're back down on our hands and knees with some more hamstring curls. Are you feeling the burn? Fun fact, um, I had a problem with my camera. Oh, and go, go with the hamstring curls. Uh, back to my fun facts. I had a problem with my camera and actually had to record this four times. So I am feeling the burn <laughs> in this video. You're doing really well. Okay, focusing on the actual exercise, I apologize. Hamstring curls, foot to bum, keep going. Hands under shoulders, knee under hip. Isolating that movement, I don't want any movement in any area of your body apart from at the knee joint, okay? Doing really well, really focus on that, okay? Only movement at the knee joint, contracting the hamstrings and the glutes there. Rest for a few seconds. And go on the other leg. Notice my upper body is not moving around, nice and still, my hips are still, my core is tight. Uh, my thigh is staying nice and high and it's only at the knee that we're getting that nice bend as we curl those hamstrings. You're doing really well. I'm so proud of you. Keep going. You can do it. Think of those amazing results. You are absolutely smashing it. I'm so proud of you. Just a few more. That was great and relax. And we're coming back onto our back. Back to back, kind of, not really. For the hip raises and go. Heel nice and planted in the ground. Pushing up those hips, contracting the glutes and the hamstrings, feeling it from shoulder to hip to knee. There's a straight line when you're at the top. Keep going. You're doing really well. And don't forget, if you're feeling it a bit too much in your glutes, just move the foot a little bit further out and you will really feel the hamstrings doing really well. Keep pulsing. I know it's getting, getting hard, but you're nearly there. You're doing so well. And relax, and we are coming on to the other leg for one last push. Are you with me? And go. Driving the hips up intentionally contracting that hamstring weight through the heels relaxed in the shoulders using your hands to steady you if you need to really pushing through to the end of this workout getting every single benefit that you possibly can because you're a boss you're a boss and you can do anything that you put your mind to 
And I mean that, if you're listening to this, whoever's listening to this, you, you literally can. So well done for doing this workout. I'm really proud of you. It's one thing to click on the video. It's another thing to do it. Relax. Well done. That is the workout completed. I'm super proud of you. Thank you so much for doing that with me. Don't forget to check out the rest of my workout videos and especially the thick thigh series. Um, thanks, guys. I will see you in my next video. Oh, leave me a comment, by the way, and let me know how you found it. Okay, I'll stop talking now. Bye. Love you. Bye.